Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to Vegas, we're gonna buy a garage, we're gonna buy another truck and we're gonna hire our first employee here at, uh, I believe it's CN Family Trucking is the name of the company, so this is an interesting day. This, this is an interesting time for the company because we are setting out to basically take a big risk. I've already taken a risk because the loan I've taken, the, the loans I've taken, I'm paying back $8,000 per day. So what that means is that every job I take, I need to make sure it's over 10,000 and I need to make sure I have a little bit of money spare in case I get fined or I need to repair my truck as I currently do. And generally speaking, I just need to be aware of the fact that uh, there, there are fees that go with being a truck driver. So I need to be aware of that fact. I need to be, be able to cover fuel. For example, I probably don't have enough fuel to cover this trip. And I need to be able to sleep and all that stuff. So I, I have a lot of things I need to uh, take into account with my current level of debt. But I, I feel comfortable with this current level of debt, I feel like it's uh, it's a heightened challenge for the game, because let's be honest, I said in the last episode, you know, things are gonna get a little bit longer. I, I fancy taking the challenge here a little bit uh, further, and I also wanna say that uh, feedback on the last episode, I haven't seen yet because I'm recording this directly after the last episode, which I wasn't planning on doing until I decided to uh, take us to uh, Vegas, so. That's what's happening there, basically. I decided we're gonna go to Vegas, and, well, we're gonna go to Vegas, and I wanna do it right away, so, you know, these things happen. I get a little bit carried away from time to time, and I think this is a fair excuse for getting a little bit carried away, you know, sitting with a lot of debt, and uh, potentially, potentially opening my own company. So I, I feel like getting carried away is okay in this situation at least. But uh, whatever the case, I uh, I am very glad that uh, people are still enjoying this series. I'm honestly surprised by the numbers we still get on this series. Uh, it's really nice to see that uh, this, this thing that's... I mean, I'll be honest, it's just, it's fun and relaxing to sit down and record this. Even last episode when things were going tits up and I was crashing into everything and, you know, it just, I broke down. It's just fun, you know, it's just fun and relaxing to sit back. I say sit back, I'm leaning forward. What I will do is uh, just go ahead and pause the game and uh, we'll do something a little bit uh, unorthodox. I'm going to sit back in my chair, I'm going to recline just a little bit. I say a little bit, Jesus, that's too far. Um, there we go, that's a little better. That's not bad. And uh, yeah, I would say this is a comfortable driving, oh God. I need, a, I need my, uh, I need a little cushion for my chair. I've got one, it's just not in my room at the minute. It's not, uh, not near me desk, and I can't be bothered getting up to go and get it. So it's fine. It's fine. I'm not relaxed, though. I'm leaning back. It's nice. I feel a little bit further away from my screen than I'd like, but it's all good. It's, uh, it's all good. You know what? I'm gonna friggin' floor it. That's how we do. That's how we do. All right, that guy better not pull out in front of me. All right, we're good. We're good. City limit here, though. I need to drop down to 30 miles per hour, of course. So there we go. Lock in at 30. And we are good to go. 258 miles until Vegas. We have 6 hours and 42 minutes. I have 6 hours and 52 minutes until I need to rest. So basically, I'm going to get to Vegas and pass out. That seems accurate, to be honest. not something you want to happen to your truck in the middle of nowhere. That was an engine malfunction, which is uh, a little bit less than ideal. I'll be honest, a little bit less than ideal. Not too keen on that. Hopefully we can, uh, you know, 
just avoid that. Plus 40 XP for 100 miles of free roam. Thank you. I will take that plus 40 XP. I don't mind if I do. That's, uh, that's not so bad. Plus 40 XP for 100 miles of free roam. I will absolutely take that. We still have, uh, we still have five hours to go. 192 miles, 191 miles to, uh, Vegas. But the good news is I'm still five hours and 26 minutes, uh, until I really need a rest stop. So, it is definitely looking like I'm gonna have the time to get to Vegas. The bloody engine malfunction again, damn it. I need to get to, uh, need to get to a mechanic. Where's the nearest mechanic gonna be, though? There's actually one in Barstow, so what I'll do is I'll take that marker off of Vegas. There might also be a garage in Barstow. Though I do really want to go to Vegas. I feel I feel like Vegas is the better one here. Alright, so there's there's a there's a garage in Vegas. Is there a uh, there's not a recruitment agency in Vegas though? The recruitment agents I just passed one back there, actually. I can probably visit one online or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Either way, that's a garage there, so we have uh, still a bit of a distance, but uh, there is there is a mechanic I can visit in Barstow to fix the truck, which is apparently something I really need to do because it's just not doing so well right now. Well, we've made it to the mechanic just here, so we'll go ahead and pull into the yard and see if we can uh, maybe just fix my truck because it's not... It's not doing so great. It kept trying to break down uh, on the way here. So, yeah, let's uh, let's just repair the truck a little bit. Give it a service. Uh, not too expensive, honestly, which is nice. That's, uh, that's good, but it's not too expensive. As for upgrades, what was the new stuff we got? We got some cosmetic stuff. Uh, it was this, I think. No, it wasn't. What the hell was it? Was it new tires? Ah, new tires. Okay. Um... I don't know what difference they make, but they're kind of fancy, I guess. Uh, we also got those new tires, which again, don't know what difference they make, but they're kind of fancy, I guess. Uh, also got some mud flaps, which I guess are a big deal. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to change my side skirts, I'm going to be honest. I kind of like those. Uh, what's this? That's a painted bump. I've already got that. Oh, this thing, though. Passenger side mirror. That's... That's new. I mean, I'm not going to use it. I, I have literally no need because I never look to that side anyway. Speaking of which, you might have noticed I never looked to that side, uh, even especially during time lapses. The reason for that is, number one, because the time lapses are prettier when I don't move. And number two, I can't actually see what's coming in uh, side lanes with these two mirrors that we have up the front. So we're actually okay and don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, let's see. Interior is, is fine as it is. Uh, we... Don't really want anything there. Don't really have anything there. We do have a new, uh... We, we could go ahead and get that, but I don't really think I'll bother. And, uh... Yeah, the cabin's fine. In uh, all honesty. So we're fine. Let's leave. There's, uh... Yeah, let's... Let's just leave. We're fine. We're fine to go. The truck is nicely repaired. So we'll just, uh, swing it around. And, uh, continue on the way to, uh to Vegas, because we're only 129 miles away from Vegas. We've got to get back onto the highway, and uh, we got to get to, uh, got to get to the strip, and got to get that garage, and got to get, uh, got to get some workers, got to get some trucks. It's a, it's a busy day, is, uh, is what this is going to be. It's a bloody busy day.
about to get into uh, downtown Vegas, which is kind of great. So let's see, can I go across here? I should be able to, no problem. That guy is, yeah, he's pulling in a little bit. So let's go ahead and get to this garage over here. It's just around the corner up this way. Which is kind of great, to be honest. Also, the speed limit here is 30. I'm seriously speeding. Let's go uh, 30. There we go. All right, let's uh, get into this lane since we're going to be turning anyway. Uh, I think I'm cutting in front of someone there, but it's okay. It's all right. He can deal with it. I am a little bit sleepy. Need to sleep in an hour and 29 minutes. I realize we actually made up some really good time there. Getting to crank, crank my uh, speed up to 77, I think is where I peaked. Uh was pretty useful. Saved a fair bit of time doing that. So, uh, props to Nevada for the higher speed limit. It's kind of great. It's kind of why I want to put a, uh, a base of operations here, because it's kind of really useful to uh, have that higher speed limit, especially when you're not pulling some cargo. So, uh, we got that going for us. It's uh, potentially a good thing to have this base here. We'll see how much it is. It might be way too expensive. I hope it isn't. Uh, but I, I absolutely... <laughs> I really hope it isn't, otherwise this has been a completely wasted journey. But uh, let's see what we're going to be looking at for this particular base of operations here in Las Vegas. 180,000, we're buying it. We're going to buy it. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Bloody cutscene. The bloody cutscene, ladies and gentlemen, is, uh, is what that is. Can I skip it? I can. Thank God. All right, well, that's that's not bad. We bloody got, got a new base of operations. I probably want to sleep, to be honest. Um, let's back this truck up a little bit. Back the truck up. That's what we got to do. And turn the truck off. Can't rest, though. Why can't I rest? Can I back this up a little bit further? kind of want to rest, I'm going to be honest. How do I... Uh... Can I rest out here? I really need to rest. I don't understand why it wouldn't let me. What if I pull around the front and back uh, in to the uh, the front end of the garage? It might let me do it then, because it... Okay, let's not crash. It did... Uh, it did attempt to let me rest at one point there. It'd be nice if it would let me try that again, because I, I kind of need to. Then in the morning, I obviously need to uh, go ahead and recruit people. Or, well, get another truck first, I suppose. Right. Oh, there we go. Stop the engine and rest. Beautiful. All right, so it's 8.50 a.m. Let's uh, go ahead and manage this garage. I've got three slots here, right? Yeah, there we go. No drivers here. No profit here. That's fine. Uh, so I want to... I could upgrade this. I don't want to upgrade this, but I could. As for this... The truck is... We're going to have to go to... We'll go to the Canworth dealer. We'll uh, we'll visit the selected dealer. Over in California. And I want to buy this thing. I want to customize the configuration because it's going to be mine. Uh, but I do want to buy this. I can, I think, put livers in this. I just don't have them currently. Which is fine. That's completely fine. Graphite black... Obviously, we're going to go for custom metallic, and it's obviously going to be the the preset we have here. Uh, so use the preset, and use the preset. And uh, as for this particular color, it's going to be... Ooh, that's 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 something. Uh, let's go a little bit yellow, I think. A little bit of uh, something like that, maybe? No, maybe not. What does this do? Oh, that's a nice, nice touch. So that's... That just makes it shiny as hell, and that's what I want. All right, that's not so bad. Uh, what have we got in the front? We can get a, a modern bumper. I I like the look of the modern bumper. Uh, we can get a, a deflector. I don't really think I want the deflector, I'll be honest. I, I don't think I need it. What have we got up here? A sun visor. I'll go with a sun visor. It looks nice. Get some, uh, get some new wheels on there. Why not? Let's spend a bit of cash getting some wheels on there. Can get the uh, the the white mud flaps. We'll go with that. And uh, can I change these? I cannot. All right. Can't really. Oh, I can change those. Yeah, we're gonna go double on those. Um, front mirrors. I absolutely want. I think they're absolutely essential for uh, for me anyway. 
And I think that's pretty good. I can actually change the rims as well. We're gonna go chrome on those, of course, because, you know, we're fancy. So that looks, uh, that looks pretty good to me. And, uh, in all honesty, I'm really enjoying that. I think it's, uh, a wonderful looking truck. I can also get some lights up here. Of course I want those. And confirm. Beautiful. That's a beautiful looking truck is what that is. I'm going to purchase it. There we go. You want to drive when you truck too, right? I do. Beautiful. So that's going to go to my Vegas garage, I suppose. And then pick a target slot. Oh. So, I, 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 I guess it goes there? Uh, select an available slot to continue. Oh, damn. All right. Uh, well, it's going to go there then. So, we got the... So, okay, so that's... Me not... What am, I, what, am I, what am I doing? Oh, there she is. There's old Bassie. That's what we're going to call her, old Bassie. Because it's an old truck, as you can see. I don't know. What the hell do you call a truck? I called one Frank. I called the truck Frank. I don't name things. I've got a cat called Indy, after Indiana Jones. I'm not joking. He has a fedora. I did. That's the thing I did. All right. I own up to that fact. Here's a question. Oh, for God's sake. Am I in bloody LA? I, I am. Okay. Um. Right. Can I? I can do garage management, though. I know that. So I want to go see a recruitment agency. Uh, there's one there. So I want to hire a driver. You are not bad. It's definitely not bad. Um, do you all of the same stats? No. You actually have the best stats. Emily Z. Uh, she has, she can drive explosives. She has some high value and she can drive some on time stuff as well. So you, the driver's rating isn't very good. But, you know, I'll hire her anyway. It's fine. She can go to the Vegas garage. And that's going to be her truck. So they will work automatically, providing they have a truck. My money's not down to 15,000. That's <laughs> great. That's uh, bloody great is what that is. Uh, so my money's a little bit low considering what I'm what I'm currently doing so let me look at my company manager let's see so Emily Z is not gonna have a profit right now because she is yeah what are you what are you gonna be doing I want you to do long distance possibly what about hazard I think you should focus on hazardous cargo actually uh, relocate, show log, no, we're good. So you're gonna do that. You're gonna focus on hazardous cargo, hopefully. Uh, what is this one? I don't know what that is. Long distance, high value, that is fuel economy, right? No, that's fuel economy. What's the one before it? Just in time deliveries. Okay, now you're gonna go hazardous cargo. Or, no, we'll try balanced. To hell, we might as well figure it out first. Uh, I'll tell you what we need to do, though. I guess today's episode's gonna be a little bit longer, because I do need to get a job, uh, to do something. I'm currently done in LA. What's, what's available here? 12,000, Redding, uh, LA to Redding, LA to... I need just something like... I, if I can get an 8,000 job, I'm fine. So LA to Sacramento would probably be a, uh... Yeah, that'd be a reasonable enough job. Uh... 400 and 356 miles that's um that's what i'm gonna take because i i need something that's gonna oh, i love this truck though i need something that's gonna you know get me the money i need to pay off all of my my loans and uh then then we'll be all right because i also need to pay my staff i need to pay emily uh so we'll see how that goes oh god this is weird i i i've it's weird driving a different truck after all this time. It's also weird because I can't quite see out the sides of this one as well as I could see out of the other one. Uh, so that's definitely strange, right? You there, you can stop. And uh, I'll just pull around this corner. Oh, God. This, oh, this is really weird. This, this is really bloody weird. Oh, it shows my speed and cruise control on the, uh, the dashboard there. That's kind of nice. I appreciate that. I'm also really speeding, is, uh, is what I'm doing. I am properly speeding there. 
All right, I want to go straight on. Can the lights change? Lights ain't going to change, are they? They're going to change as soon as I come to a full stop. That's usually what happens. No, okay, well, fine. Oh, no, there we go. All right. This thing has a fair bit of uh, get up and go, though. It uh, definitely accelerates pretty well. Which is nice, but... Uh, yeah, I'm really... I'm having a tough time getting used to this. I really am. I'm also speeding again. What a surprise. What a, what a surprise there that I'm... I am speeding. I have been stopped at every single bloody traffic light in LA, and it's really starting to piss me off. I'm not joking. I've come up across about five or six different sets of traffic lights, and every single one of them has gone red as soon as I get near them. And it's kind of annoying me. I, uh, I would appreciate it if they didn't do that. Can this guy go? Seriously, I get, look, I get it. I'm going to turn, but go. Move. You prick. Oh, for God's sake. Fine, I'm backing up. Um, look at me holding up. You absolute arsehole. That is what you are, sir. Right, this guy can wait. Right, I'm going. What a prick. What a prick. Just, he sat, like, he could have went. And the guy behind could have waited. But no, he was like, no, I'm going to wait too. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait too and be an asshole. So, uh, yeah, fuck that guy. Basically. That's, uh, that's my opinion on him. Bit of a prick. Whatever the case, we have got to our destination. Okay, just a uh, bloody red light. If you were going to the right, this would be fine, sir. This would be fine. Who the hell are you? Hello, that's a nice car. I think I have one of those in GTA. Whatever the case. Oh, there we go. We're good to go. Let's uh, round the corner just a little bit. And uh, we'll pick up the job from here. From uh, Charged. Is apparently the name of this company. That'll be the trailer I'm taking, apparently. Uh, let's pull in here, and we're going to Sacramento. So, this is actually a fragile cargo. Uh, oh, they're an electrical company. All right. Well, this will be interesting. I also realized my truck looks very small. It does, doesn't it? It doesn't look as big as I thought it was. Um, I'm kind of okay with that. I don't really mind. It's, uh, it's still a bigger-looking truck than the one I had before, I think. Uh, I... Seriously, didn't line that up well at all. Oh, yeah, I like this. I like the look of this quite a bit. I think it looks kind of great. Let's, uh... I'm not yielding. Please. I'm me. When do I ever yield? Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and get back onto the, uh... The highways, then, I suppose. And, of course, I'm getting stopped by another bloody red light. Great. Hundred and thirty miles to the location. Five hours. We'll say six hours just for the hell of it, because really it's five hours and fifty-five minutes, and that's about the same thing when you think about it. Oh, what are these jokers doing up here? Don't pull out in front of me. Don't do it. Don't you're doing it. You're bloody doing it. You're bloody doing it. You're bloody doing it. You really didn't give me time to slow down. I'm gonna have to pull out like this. That's freaking risky there. 
I mean, he did sort of give me the time to slow down, but I wasn't planning on doing it, and I was yelling to the game that the guy shouldn't pull out in front of me, so the way I see it is... I, t I did what any good trucker would do. I assumed that I had the right of way, uh, even when I didn't, and even when I sort of knew that I didn't, and uh, I floored it. That's what I believe any good trucker would do. That's what I believe anyone driving this truck would do. And as we all know, this is a truck that is uh, like many others, but this one is mine. So, if you've been watching this series for a little while, you'll remember that I threw- Okay, why is this guy breaking? What the hell is this? What the hell was that? This guy pretty much came to a full bloody stop. I mean, I've come to a full bloody stop on the highway. But that guy came to a full bloody stop on the highway to go on to, uh, the off-ramp. That's kind of annoying as hell. But, uh, the point I was gonna make is, if you've been watching this for a while, you'll know that I was talking for a little while about potentially turning this series into a way for me to sort of, uh, ramble on about various things. I was thinking that this is either gonna be the way it is now, with the cuts and the time lapses and all that stuff, or I would just drive and sort of use it like a podcast and we talk about something. Well, I figure, you know, we've got a couple of minutes to kill here until we get to the location. Uh, I figure we'll take a little bit and do this every, like, very rarely now and then, just talk about a thing. So, I recently saw a video that was, uh, about fair use, and this is something that's not going to apply to any of you that sort of, well, it, it, it sort of does, actually, because it, it's something that sort of threatens, uh, YouTube and online media. And, uh, there, there are better videos about it out there, uh, which is why I haven't bothered actually making a video about it. I think it's, uh, Channel Awesome has a very good video on it. It's, uh, Where's the Fair Use? But the point is, there seems to just be this crusade against YouTube and new media from old media sources, and it's really weird. You know, it's, it's really, really strange because it's it's the same as what's happened time and time again and the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results and that's kind of like what hollywood and traditional media do in a way because every time this new fangled technology comes along they claim it's going to destroy their industry or it's going to do whatever you know rock music was a thing that everyone said, it's gonna taint the minds of her children. Video games, it's gonna taint the minds of her children. And then now YouTube is it's gonna taint the minds of her children and destroy Hollywood. It's not. In fact, when you think about it, uh, the internet is kind of responsible for Deadpool being a thing, considering there was such an outcry of support for the Deadpool movie long before it was ever thought about. Like, there was a, there was a, a sort of short that was made, an animated short, fully CG, that got leaked onto the internet, and that was something that was so, like, the, people went crazy for more Deadpool. That's an example of the internet being super useful to Hollywood. But Hollywood's like, no, no, it's not. Let's not be silly. It's just dumb. I don't get it. I don't get why so many, I guess, industries like to uh, crusade against the internet when it can be used for so much more good than bad. I mean, piracy exists, sure, but piracy's all, always existed. You know, there was, a, there was a campaign in the 90s to uh, prevent you, not to prevent you, but asking you to not copy floppy disks. It was, don't copy that floppy, and it didn't fucking work, because it didn't. It just didn't. People weren't aware of it. You know, piracy's uh, damaging, uh, damage to industries in the 90s. People didn't really care. But, you know, educate people, explain to them why things like piracy are bad, and explain, you know, all this stuff, and it's fine. But that's beyond the... Oh, shit. Um, bother. That's fine. 
that's fine. But the, the point I'm getting to, since we're coming up to your location, is that um, there's this crusade against people that are using content in a fair way. I mean, it's it's been seen with, like, movie reviews so frequently when, like, uh, a studio will flag and issue a copyright strike on movie reviews for fair use. Like, the, the content's being used fairly. It does happen to gaming as well. Like, there's a lot of times I've had companies flag my content. I had one recently. A, uh... Oh, for God's sake, I didn't mean to run that red light, but it's fine. We've done it now. A, a uh, multi-channel network claimed one of these American truck simulator... What the hell are you doing, you prick? One of these American truck simulator videos was claimed by a multi-channel network that I'm not affiliated with and have never heard of. It was, the, the claim was revoked immediately, well, almost immediately, within about an hour it was revoked, but the fact that they claimed it at all is telling of just how easy it is for someone to uh, claim a video. The fact of the matter is, if they didn't revoke that claim, uh, I can dispute it, but for those 30 days, there's, there's a 30 day window there where they can make any and all money that that video generates. It's shoot first and ask questions later, and the person on the firing line is the content creator. It's treating someone like a criminal uh, when they've potentially done nothing at all. And in the end, they prove they've done nothing at all, and they're still sort of treated like a criminal, but less so because they're still fined for it. You know, you still don't get the money that this company is getting because they claimed the video saying it was their content. Even though it was proved that it wasn't their content and they have nothing to do with it, they still got to keep it. Fair use is being abused on YouTube, and it's kind of not cool. It's it's kind of really not cool. But, you know, this is an American Truck Simulator video, and uh, really the way I see it is we should all just make videos and watch videos and get along, but sometimes that doesn't happen, unfortunately. Sometimes companies like to abuse uh, DMCA systems, which is illegal, but apparently no one really cares. So, you know, it's up to the content creators, again, to kick up a stink about it. So, you know, there's a thing to do. Go check out Channel Awesome. They don't need my support at all. They're huge. Uh, nostalgia critic and all that. But it's if you haven't seen the video on Where's the Fair Use, it's worth a watch. Wherever the case, we have arrived. So, probably worth parking in the correct space, isn't it? Let's see. 40 XP to park there? Or 15 for there? I'll take there. That's, that's an easy spot to park in. Let's uh, swing the truck around and see if I can park it in first person. Let's uh, let's see if this is a thing I can do. Shouldn't be ah, to hell with it. We're gonna park it in third person. It's fine. It's gonna do third person because it's easy. Um, that's gotta be. That's gotta be. That's in the space, right? That's kind of in the space. Come on. Oh no 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 no. Okay, back it up. Back it up. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. So what did I get? I got an excellent. I didn't actually get a damage bonus. I got. I have leveled up to level six. I got uh, eight thousand two hundred and twenty uh, dollars for that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So this will unlock deliveries up to a thousand miles. I really don't know if I want those. Uh, fragile cargo could be useful. I'm actually thinking I might start specializing in stuff like high value because more of those is just more money. So uh, let's let's go for that, and I also want to uh, pause to see what the new upgrades are. Uh, new engine, new transmission. Uh, that's not actually a, a thing for this truck, is it? That's kind of annoying. That I just got rid of the other truck that that could have went on to. As for these guys, they also got cabin deflectors. Uh, fair enough. That is uh, that is that is fair enough indeed. I'll tell you what I also want to do. Actually, I want to look at my company manager. I want to look at my driver manager and see if Emily's doing anything. Emily, Emily's got a profit of $96 per day. That's not much, Emily. That's... Uh, you're on duty. What are you doing? What are you doing? You are taking a digger from Barstow to Vegas. You finish in an hour. And, uh... Fair enough. So you're doing you. Which seems fine to me. Can I see you on the map? Is that a thing I can do? You're going from Barstow to Vegas. And I... Annoyingly can't actually see you on the map. It'd be nice if I could That'd be a nice touch if I could like, f you know, see one of my own drivers or something, but apparently that's not a choice I get uh, Fair enough. I I Guess we'll just leave it there for today to be honest. I think we've had a pretty successful day 
we can uh, definitely afford to pay off some loans and all that stuff, which is fantastic news. In fact, if I go to the bank, I can actually repay uh, this one, which will save me a little bit of money. So, uh, it's, it's probably worth repaying you uh, right away. Just drop this down a little bit. And I'll leave this one for the meantime, because I don't have the money to repay that. So... Another job or two should deal with that. I realize I did just get another high value cargo point. So I do want to very briefly look at the freight market before we wrap things up. Just to see if there's anything there. Uh, that's a high value cargo from Fresno. That is uh, that is not bad money though. That is not bad money. What have we got in Sacramento? Not really much. Not really much at all. Sacramento to jackpot. 521 miles. That's a lengthy drive. Uh, but I think, you know... I, I think I'll leave it there for today regardless. I'm not really all that interested in picking up a job right now. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you kindly for watching. This has been American Truck Simulator, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.